back to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Lee Newton. Wait, guys, wait, wait. And I'm Meg Turney. And since all three of us are here for the first time ever, <laughs> ah! we're going to talk about lady nerds. Ah, look, I'm flattered, but I don't think we need a story about all three of us. That would be really egotistical, right? It would be a little I, bit. I actually can't stay, oh, so okay. I have this top secret election stuff to work on, so Ooh. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> bye, bye, Meg. Bye. bye. Lady nerd. Okay, so the three of us are included in the story, but the actual story is more about the rise of the lady nerd when it comes to career. Oh, okay, I see where you're going with this one. Okay, I thought it was just about us, and I was like, that's weird. <laughs> I mean, the three of us have embraced our lady nerd and are lucky enough to have a job where we get to use it. But despite the rising amount of lady nerds out there, and we know you're out there, the amount of women employed in more nerdy career paths, namely science, tech, engineering, and math, is very low. Statistics show that about 6% of video game designers are women, about 15% of web engineers are women. Those are really low statistics, but funny enough, according to research, just as many girls as boys are interested in science in elementary school. But statistics also show that girls in middle school and high school turn to their other interests due to social reasons. You know, cheerleading, talking, all that kind of stuff. And it's not because they aren't smart. And it's not just the girls, it's the parents too. Sandra Guo, who is now a successful computer engineer, was discouraged by her mother telling her not to pursue computer science because she'll never find a boyfriend. I mean, it's really that they're just aren't enough prominent lady nerds out there. Nerdy careers are some of the highest earning, and to think that women are shying away from them just because they aren't cool really sucks. And I get it, because very rarely do you see women in magazines reading microbiology books, and most supermodels and celebrities that serve as role models flash their skin far more often than they flash their geek card. I flash my geek card all the time. <laughs> you and I both, sister. Right? But I also was not very popular in school, so there you go. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Now, if you haven't heard of Marissa Mayer yet, she is a grade-A badass lady nerd. A perfect example. She went to Berkeley, got 19 amazing job offers, and ended up choosing a small search engine company with about 20 employees, of which she was the only female. Now known as Google. Going from engineer to senior executive and now CEO of Yahoo, she is a huge icon for female geeks everywhere. And she's all about bringing more ladies into the tech world. Many people think you have to get them nerdy while they're young, but Marissa didn't start liking computers until college. She thinks the problem has more to do with tech's image, which would explain the middle school interest drop-off. And I do think our community is slowly coming around on what it means to be geek. People like Steve Jobs and Kevin Smith are successful nerds, but again, successful lady nerds are few and far between. A girl nerd is still thought of as a loner, typing alone in front of a computer, or an uptight professor in a stuffy university, or, or that weird girl in NCIS. Not a money-making intelligent powerhouse. Marissa says, we need girls to think, yes, this is something I can be and want to be. She's hopeful that the popularity of Facebook, Twitter, Google, and the prominent use of smartphones will make more girls realize what careers in computer science actually do, and how they can make a positive change in the world. But there are huge strides being made. Mattel decided to make a computer engineer Barbie for their occupation line. Still complete with unrealistic body types. And a bunch of companies here in the US participated in introduce a girl to engineering day. So guys, tell us in the comments down below who your favorite lady nerd is. And of course, the source fed staff doesn't count. Doesn't count. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that annotation down below or go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Trisha Hirschberger. And I'm Curie. That was my favorite lady nerd. Oh, I like her. Mm -hmm.